Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another TTS video here on Operation Brutal Swarm. You guys had requested in the last video that I did for me to try out some new things. So we're going to be doing exactly that, such as some new optics have been added to some new guns slash operators. The suppressors no longer take away your damage. And Zofia's M762 has supposedly been significantly buffed to the point where people are using it over the LMG. So in today's video, we're going to go in and we are going to test just those things for you guys. And I'm going to give you guys my complete and honest opinion and my firsthand experience with all of these new changes. So if you guys enjoy this video, consider liking the video, subscribe if you're new. I post daily here on the channel. So make sure you guys turn those notifications on. You're definitely not going to want to miss any of the videos that I have coming out very soon. But with that being said, let's hop in straight to our first game. All right, here we go with the new band system as well. I'm hoping we get Stadium Bravo, which if you guys aren't familiar with this map, it is technically a new map, but it's technically an old map. And here's why. This map was a part of an event, I believe in 2021. I'm not entirely sure, but it's basically a combination of border and coastline. But unfortunately, we're not going to get that map. I played like seven, I don't know, maybe like six uh, TTS games, and I've yet to get it, which is really unfortunate. And I've tried queuing for the event game mode, which is just that map. And the queue times are like 15, 20 minutes. So unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen. Nevertheless, though, we have plenty of things to test out. One of the things I want to test is the Zofia M762, as it has recently gotten a 1.5. If you guys were not aware, before it was not given a 1.5. So with this new season, Brutal Swarm, they have added it on to the M762 and apparently the recoil is good enough to where people are using it over the LMG. So I'm kind of excited to use that and I'm going to be the judge to see if that one is actually now better than the LMG. I feel like it's probably not, but we'll see. Along with the 1.5 being added to Zofia and a bunch of different operators, I'll put a screenshot on screen right now. You guys can pause and take a look at all the different operators who have been given new 1.5s or scopes. Um, along with Zof, one of the ones I'm really excited for is actually going to be Jackal. The C7E has received a 1.5 and I'm super excited to try that out. You guys know, I love the C7E. I, I usually use the 2X on it, but a 1.5 sounds really fun. Some other like notable changes is like the Nomad ARX has lost its, uh, ACOG sledge lost his ACOG, um, little things like that. Like I said, I'll have a screenshot on screen. You guys can go back and pause and, and see all the individual changes, but there's definitely some things we're going to take a look at here. First things first though, the main star of the new season, of course, is going to be Grim. We're going to be trying to get some more content with Grim here. I really want to use his gadget in a way to kind of go underneath the bomb site and shoot people through the floor with the shotgun. If you guys watched my other video, I think it's called uh, This Grim Strat is OP. I posted it a few days ago. If you guys watched that video, I was doing that in that video. I basically went underneath, uh, shot the Grim gadget, and it gave me live wall hacks on people. And I, I could just shoot them through the floor. It was really sick. We're going to try to do that again today. So I don't know if we had found out where the bomb site is. I think they're going to be like downstairs. Oh boy, we almost got shot through the door there. I think they're actually top floor then. I'm gonna try to rat in through downstairs and let's actually turn my audio up. I was on 25 audio there, wow. Oh, the lion with this too is gonna be so nice. All right, here we go, throwing in the gadget. Show me what there is to see. Man, I'm sad, we're not getting anybody with this gadget. Ross is trying to push us though. Not a good idea. Why would you want to push the shotgun like that? All right, we're the last one here. We've only got, what, two of these gadgets left? How do we have two left? I think Grim has way too many of these. Let's drone a little bit. I hear someone coming. Probably not your best idea. All right. I hear him on the door. Oh, I hear him beneath me. Yo, what is he doing beneath me? <laughs> I was like, I could have swore I heard him on the canine door, but I heard him beneath me. Wow. Well, that was easy. 
The shot that I had in mind for like shotgunning beneath and using the gadget through the floor, it didn't really work out, unfortunately. But it might work this time if they go downstairs. That would be nice. If they go downstairs and I'm able to shoot the gadget through the floor, that could be really cool. Yo, shout out to uh, Broccoli in the chat here. All right, so they are downstairs like I wanted. Now, the only thing that might limit our strat here is if there's anyone roaming. And already we see smoke of all people roaming for some reason with the FMG. Things you see on the TTS, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to dispose of this smoke if we want to do our strat here. The problem is he's got an FMG instead of the shotgun. So he's actually got pretty long range capabilities and we do not. This is what we're going to do. We're going to drone a little bit. We're going to see if we can push K9. So far, we're looking good. That's actually the smoke gone, but Mute is still up here. Hold on, hold on. All right, there we go. Watch out. Yeah, it was trying to fuse charge me. Don't cluster charge again. What are you cluster charging? What is? What are these cluster charges, guys? Well, that's not really what I wanted to happen. Yo, stop cluster charging, bro. This guy's trying to kill me. All right, all right, all right. What was the point of all that, bro? All right, that's not what we like to see. What happened, guys? I wish the hatch was open. Uh-oh. All right, all right. It's flanking. Oh, I heard it last second. Damn, I thought I was hearing a guy by the big garage. Yo, Fuse was trolling that whole time. <laughs> the recoil with the suppressor didn't look that bad there, though. We still have to try that. I want to try to play Grim on attack, and I want to try to play with the uh, suppressors on defense. All right, so Pluto took Grim, but that's fine, because what we're going to do this round is we are actually going to play... The M762 with a 1.5. First ever time doing that. It sounds like a lot of fun. We're going to run the flash hider because it's basically just your run of the mill barrel attachment. It says reduce the speed at which the muzzle moves upwards while shooting. So this should help with the vertical recoil. We'll play with it on the flash hider. And if it's really bad, we'll try the compensator, which is more for horizontal recoil. But apparently the recoil is so good that people are using it instead of the LMG. But... To be honest, I heard that about Ash. People were talking about how Ash went back to like, you know, when she first released or whatever. And that was just not the case whatsoever. People were capping. So I'm going to be the judge and set the record straight on if the M762 is actually back to normal. All right. This looks really weird. 1.5 on the M7. Definitely nothing I've seen before. Let's go test out the recoil. Let's open up the door here. Oh, that doesn't feel bad. That feels pretty good. Hold on. It definitely has a little bit of kick, but I will say this is not that bad. Honestly, where is the bomb site? All right, one's in the hallway here. Oh no, one's up top. I guess I missed drone him. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Our whole team just got pieced up. Man, I really wanted to take a gunfight with that gun as well. Unfortunate. Wow, he ran into a frost mat. Bro, our whole team got pieced up right there. That was wild. I actually find it kind of funny that the guy in the other team, his name is Noob Slayer and he's playing Frost. It's like, yeah, you're really only going to get kills against noobs with Frost. <laughs> All right, so let's try the suppressor. We'll do it on Doc. Why not? It feels so wrong putting a suppressor on. Like, even just thinking about it, I'm like, ooh, that's gross. Like, I don't want to do that. But there's no more damage reduction with it. So maybe it's maybe it's the play. Uh, it even just looks weird. Now, there's definitely a lot more recoil. Oh yeah, you can you can feel the recoil. There is a ton of recoil with the suppressor. That is gonna be the big downside of the suppressor. Is there's just so much more recoil versus having like a uh flash hider or a compensator. But honestly, I think that's fine. Like I think instead of having it like also have more recoil and take away all your damage, having it just do more recoil. I think it's fine. I think that's a good enough nerf. Although, do you know who's probably crazy with the suppressor now? Knock. Everybody was playing knock with the suppressor, right? But that was before the damage reduction. Now, knock is not going to have that damage reduction with the suppressor. So, knock mains, I'm sure, are very, very happy with this change. I think they're pushing trench. 
All right, they're not pushing trench. I think they're pushing front side now. These guys are kind of all over the place right now. Oh, bandit just bandit tricked the thermite. They're coming blue. They're coming blue. Oh, Grim is pushing there. I don't want to get caught in those bees. Pluto, I got this. All right, Pluto's got this. My turn. What is he doing? He hit me with it. I don't want to get stuck in that. Oh, no, I got stuck in it. He hit me with it. It did five damage. All right, I'm getting out of there. Oh, he's already close. I got Callied. Oh, no. Cover me, bandit. Pluto. No. Damn, bro. That Cali really got me. One shot from that Cali and I was done. So thoughts on the suppressor after round one? Mentally, it feels weird. It, feel, it feels off. It feels wrong to be using a suppressor. I already feel like I'm shooting like a pea shooter. Even though it's not doing anything to my damage, like subconsciously, I'm thinking to myself, wow, I'm just doing no damage to anybody. I am using the MP5. It's not like the strongest hitting gun ever. It only does 27 damage. But just the sound of the suppressor is messing with my brain. But the recoil, there is a lot more recoil, but it's nothing to the point where like you can't control it, right? Like any good player, if they're in a gunfight, they're going to be able to control it no problem. So, I mean... I don't know. We'll have to wait. We'll have to see what the pro players think. I'm interested to see if uh, we see any more suppressor play in pro league. I think it'd be pretty cool. But uh, at the same time, you have to kind of ask yourself, is there any point where you need a suppressor, right? Like when you're actually playing in like pro league, when would you need a suppressor? I feel like the scenarios for that are pretty slim. Um, But like for stuff like knock, like I was saying before, it could be really, really cool. We're going for the most basic spawn peak ever. My glass is broken. This is obnoxious. <laughs> Hopefully it makes it harder for me to be seen. Oh no, I missed the headshot. Oh no. This running animation is so weird. It, like bugs out sometimes. It's weird. Pushing our teammate. Get out of there, Pluto. Get out of there. You put an Osa shield here? What? Stop heal, please. Okay. Thunderbird, bro. Thank you, buddy. I just healed a Thunderbird. The world we live in. A bot has been located by That's One, Buck. Four, Where's Grim? I found him. The recoil. Oh my god, let's reload. Let's reload. That recoil was getting to me. Probably went bar, no? Oh no. All right, <laughs> I thought I was dead for. I'm not gonna lie. I heard him holding the angle. That's why I said, oh no. <laughs> I knew I was walking straight into a trap. Oh good, we got a little eight and three action going on right now. Our team, uh, well, you know, might, be, might be struggling a little bit. Might have more kills than the whole team combined, but uh, you know, that's okay. All right, let's try someone other than Doc. Let's try, man, I don't even know. Let's try Ella. Because a lot of the time, Ubisoft will shadow buff operators. So sometimes a new season will be implemented. And for whatever reason, without them saying anything in the patch notes, an operator's weapon is like significantly better. And that happens with like uh, the SMG 11, the Scorpion, the SMG 12, the Bang 9. That happens a lot with those weapons. And for some reason, uh, they just don't say anything about it. Alrighty, let's go to a wall where no teammates are at. Yeah, there's still a lot of horizontal recoil. There's not much vertical. There's like, there's like no vertical, but there's a lot of horizontal. I wonder, I think I have a compensator on, but I don't remember. If it's not though, we'll try compensator next round. Cause if I have flash hider on, uh, I'll use comp next round and that should improve that horizontal recoil a lot. Oh no. I think one's coming in from like game side. No way you're doing that. Yo, place it down. Place it down, buddy. Place it. That guy's not real, chat. I think there's one pushing over here. Uh, it's still hard to hit those shots. No, we got shot in the back. I had Buck dead to rights there. 
We got shot in the back by the Zofia. That's unfortunate. Uh, that was the 1.5 on the LMG there, by the way. I'm if I'm not mistaken, they added the 1.5 to Zof LMG this season. So that's pretty cool. Alright, this Osa's one shot. That C4 should kill him. I guess it missed. Oh no, it downed him. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, that, that C4 definitely should kill him. Alright, it's match point. I hope we don't lose this. Oh my god! Yo, this guy didn't even turn around. Did he not turn around because of the suppressor? Or did he not turn around because he's bad? Broccoli said he lagged. Okay, like that would make sense. I just, I don't see a world where that guy doesn't know he's getting shot at. <laughs> like even, even with the suppressor, like how do you know, how do you not know you're getting shot at right there? So Vigil was given the uh, 1.5 as well as the 2X on the boss G. So a lot of you guys in the comments were telling me, oh, Vigil got a 1.5 and I had tried to play it on my last video and I was like, I don't see a 1.5 here. You guys, you guys were either deceiving me or you guys were misinformed because Vigil did not get a 1.5 on the K1A. He got a 1.5 on the boss G. But either way, we're going to use it this round because honestly, it looks like a lot of fun. And if you guys recall like my, one of my shotgun videos where we played shotgun only like a few months ago uh i used the boss a lot in that video and it was a lot of fun like this gun it's really memey but it, if you're just trying to have some fun it really is the gun to play and i'm really happy they added some more scopes onto it i'm glad they're trying to add in more variety into the scopes because for whatever reason ubisoft likes to balance all of the uh, operators solely off of like optics and it doesn't make much sense to me but i'm glad to see that they're like finally adding in some new ones we're doing the same spawn pick again no way this works actually you know what go from here switch it up on them right guys open up some hatches here give ourselves some uh flank routes I wish I had more impacts. I want to open this, but I also want to open the big garage. Are they already in garage? I think they're already garage side. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Got this, still. And it no. All right. Where's the last guy? Quit trolling. I think he's by blue stairs. Oh, I'm hearing teammates. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. One shot. One bullet. No! <laughs> I didn't hit him once. That's so tragic. That gun is hard to use, man. <laughs> like, it's a lot of fun, but you have to have a lot of skill. And I, I just am so washed. <laughs> hey, let's go. Cheese wedge. With the suppressed Ella. Man, that's ballsy. Well, there's there's got to be a lot of recoil on that suppressor. Although, I will say, like, the suppressed Ella is one of the best sounding guns. Hey, GG's. Look how Vigil holds the boss sheet. Looks so weird. <laughs> Why is he holding it like that? He's like not even holding the grip. All right, here we go. We've got another chance at stadium. I really want to play it. Please ban bank. Please ban bank. Last time I played the TTS, we didn't ban bank and it broke my heart. I hate that map so much. Oh my God. No, please. We can play Chalet twice, but at least it's not bank. Honestly, I kind of wish there was just no operator bans. They're trying to do like a ranked format, which is cool. Like that's fine, but there's a lot of changes to every operator. And I, f I almost feel like just banning them kind of defeats the purpose of the TTS, you know? And this band phase also takes up a lot of time. Like the whole operator bands takes up like a good, like a minute or two. And it doesn't sound like much, but it is a lot of downtime when you're trying to play multiple games. And as you can see, everybody just wants to ban no operator anyways. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back on Grim. I want to use the shotgun, but this really isn't a shotgun map, unfortunately. We're going to try it again, but I probably should be using the uh, commando. But like I said, we'll give it a shot. I hear lots of glass breaking. I think there's going to be some spawn peaks. I've only got the shotgun and a pistol. Wish me luck, guys. Yep, here come the spawn peaks. Oh, no. All right, we sort of made it out of spawn. Where's my drone? Yeah, they were definitely peeking through that. The door is closed, though. I think the site's actually downstairs, so... Let's see if I can get a little kill through the window here. I should just shot it open. What's that about? Oh. All right. That's K dead. Oh, that's another guy dead. Oh, I know who these. These are all champ players. We're playing a champ stack. Agro and Gooby are champ. <laughs> I'll rip them. All right, we left the bomb all the way in spawn. I guess I'll be the one to grab it. I've still got five of my gadget. Let's start throwing these out. 
Something I think is underutilized is you could just throw your gadget there and no one can really flank there. Like no one's gonna have the balls to flank there for the next like 15 seconds or whatever. Cause they're just gonna get detected, right? So there's no point. You can't flank when that's going on. So if you wanna watch your flank, you could just like shoot them off and then go back to breach charging. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a smart play. Oh, so Rooney's not happy with me. Oh yeah, guys. Oh, let's go. We're so coordinated, my, me and my team right there. All right, we're gonna go back to the M762 because we got we got to try some other things. We'll let Thunderbolt have Grim this round, and we'll uh, we'll play some M762 because the gun did feel better. I have to say, like I said before, I was gonna be the judge if this is actually better, and I will say it is significantly better. I didn't really get to play with it much uh, besides the one round, and I kind of died really early. So let me have a few gunfights with it to make my final decision but i will say so far it's nice i don't know if it's as good as it used to be but it's definitely playable now oh boy here we go these spawn peaks on the front door again we're gonna go on to the left side this side's always much safer the only thing you have to worry about really is like a run out there and when you come up the stairs they could kind of peek you, you got to take it a little bit slow seems like we're good thunderbird on the grim is already dead oh my god the two champ players are tearing my team apart. I killed the two champs really early last game, and I think that's kind of what allowed us to win that round. Now they're just smoking my whole team. Yeah, I just got shot through the door. That is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, he can see my feet too. Dang. All right, it's all up to souls now. <laughs> Thunderbrook goes pro Thatcher gameplay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, this is the uh, the 1.5 on Thatcher actually. So we could we could talk about that right now. Thatcher got a 1.5 onto the L85. That is new with this season. So that is cool to see. All right. So I didn't kill the champ players early, and it was kind of evident in how the round went. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That was that was unfortunate to say the least. All right. So I'm taking the 5.52 commander this time because if we take a look at this new Objective can't be found at one of these locations. That little uh, interface there. They should go master bedroom. That would make the most amount of sense. Now, because of that, I'm going to try to do my strat where we go onto the canine balcony, put a drone by the door. You look under the door with the drone and then you pre-fire through the door. It normally gets me a kill. It's worked against like all class of players. So hopefully it should work here too. Now, the only downside... Or I guess the only way they can really counter this is if my teammates open the door or if they open the door or if they go castle. But none of that seems to be the case so far. So hopefully we're just going to pray that they don't open the door and that my teammates don't open it and we should be good. This guy's actually running out. That is odd. This might halt my progress here. He's not going to walk into those bees most likely. I think there's... Yep, I was going to say, I think there's one on that double door. I just got smoked. I get oh I thought I got wall banks. Oh, he had a nasty shot on me. Wow. Oh boy. Let's go, Lord Chungus. Lord Chungus. Where are these kills for me? Why don't I get those kills? <laughs> I feel like that's everybody when they spec their spectate their teammates. Their the teammates get like the craziest kills, and you just think to yourself, like, why can't I get these kills? Oh my god. Guys, I'm playing like champ players right now and, I, and I've got that guy in my team. No hate to that guy, but it's like the the disparity in rank here is rough. Uh, let's play some Goya 1.5. We didn't, we played like a little bit of Goya 1.5 uh, in the last video, but I want to play some more of it because it was actually really fun. All right, now if you guys remember, I went through like a huge Goyo phase. Like I played like a bunch of Goyo. You guys have been like subscribed to me for a while and you, you were watching all my gameplay videos, you know, like... Like seven, eight months ago, I played like nothing but Goyo. So I'm actually pretty hyped that they gave him a 1.5. I think the 1.5 is my, my favorite scope in the game. So my teammates decided to open up the wall here. Now like opening this wall is fine, but you want to have like either head holes or prone holes. And our orcs just decided to dash right through it. So we've basically just given them free entry into the site, which is not what we want to do. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's a buck here already. I'm gonna try to get a C4 kill here. I just, I don't want to talk about it. That C4 did not go where I thought it was going to go. All right, that's one. That's 
two. That's three. Reloading, cover me. That's a nade. Ah, oh, nice shot by the sludge. I was going for four. I couldn't quite get it. I tried my best. Oh? No, souls, you've got to stop all walking, man. You're, all, you're literally about to be detected by the bees. Oh, no. Man, people abuse the, the alt walk too much. There's a time and a place for the alt walk, guys. <laughs> uh, I feel like going downstairs might be a better option for us, to be honest. All of my teammates are leaving, by the way. Like, the past, like, 15 seconds, pretty much my entire team is just left and, and rejoined. And then the Gooby goes skill issue. <laughs> it's basically me versus aggro right now It is basically what's going on. It's like me versus aggro and mystic. And I guess trolling like that. Like I'm basically in, a, in like a 5v3 right now. And then like souls is there like here and there. <laughs> really unfortunate. Uh-oh. I noticed me. Please don't team kill me. I get team killed so often when people notice me. It's actually so weird. Uh, placing this Goyo trap is so hard. I got it like perfectly last round, but it's not working for me that round. All right, guys, please don't do what this guy's doing if you notice me in game. If you notice me in game, like say like, hey, what's up? Don't shoot at me and teabag me, please. It is super annoying. This guy's gonna follow me around the whole map. That stuff is really annoying. I don't know if we needed that reinforce, but that's fine, I guess. One's, one's on big window. One's coming up blue stairs, too. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna just walk in. Yep, I knew it. Oh, there's a second? Damn, I never heard the second guy. He was right on the knock, too. Damn. I guess I should have expected that. I shouldn't hear it, so I didn't think there was another one. Adiana's gonna walk straight into piano and we have no one watching it. My whole team is for whatever reason inside of office. And there's a guy big window holding their cross and the rest of their team is just gonna walk in. Ooh, Jaeger with no grip looks so weird. Why is he holding his gun like that? The guy big window just repelled in. Oh, his black beard, that's weird. Look where castle is, bro. This guy's in like the worst position. Oh, the Goyo, shoot the Goyo. Oh no, if he shoots the Goyo, the fire would spread to the plant. No, unfortunate. Man, that that brings back memories from me playing Goyo in ranked a lot. Is like nobody ever shoots the Goyo traps. Okay, let's ban Chalet because I don't want to play Chalet twice, please, or three times. We we already played Chalet twice back to back. I would like to play something else, any other map. <laughs> okay, please don't be Chalet. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Chalet for a third time. But this does remind me, if you guys have been enjoying the video, consider liking, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on if you haven't already. I post daily on the channel. So if you've been, you know, if you made it this far into the video, obviously you've been enjoying it, I would hope. So uh, drop a like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. I post videos like this one every single day. You're definitely not going to want to miss any of the future videos that I have planned. But with that being said, let's get into Chalet number three. Can we play some more Goyo. I think we might as well there's there's honestly there's not much that's changed on defense like there's some things where like you know some defenders got a, a new scope or whatever but for the most part none of them are like that cool i guess we have pulse 1.5 we'll play pulse 1.5 as that's actually new we'll check this out we'll see if it's any good we are in chalet which isn't like the greatest pulse map ever but we'll make do pulse 1.5 this is pretty cool i guess it's not that new because castles had the 1.5 they're like you play castle you're already gonna know how this feels uh that's why i was trying to play some other operators like uh goyo we've never really seen the one play problem in there besides mira they got taken away pretty quickly go for a pulse spawn peak why don't we lots of drones out here i'm just stuffing my face all the way in this i just saw one. Oh, that's twitch dead Ooh, the 1.5 feels so nice on the UMP. Does anyone have a bike? All right, this guy's trolling. Where are they at? Where are they at? I think I hear them repelling. I can't see them yet, though. Oh, there's one. It's outside the front door. One's on big window. I love Pulse, bro. I kill this guy, and then he goes, no shot. That's actually shock. <laughs> Yo! Alibi. Slow down, bro. Save some content from me.
Oh, okay. You can have the rest of the content. You can have the rest of the content. I whiffed. All right. He didn't get any content either. This guy is the, the content denier. Dank Damon. Content denier. Oh, my God. This guy's already good for three this round. Don't tell me he's good for five. I hope we don't get 1v5 by Dank Damon. Where's the other X, by the way? His name is XX Dank Damon X, but there's no other X. And it's messing with my OCD. Yo, Thorn! He's in with you, bro! Yo, Thorn! Oh, no. This is bad, guys. Thorn's AFK. It's all up to Ella now. Oh, Thorn's back! It's a little too late, though. He's already got cover. Oh, my God. Thorn. Thorn. He's gonna be good for five. He's gonna, he's gonna 1v5 us. He just won't be fived us. Oh no. Thorn, you troll. Where did you go? This guy actually just put us in a TikTok clip right there. That's crazy. We'll play some more pulse. That actually felt really fun. I like the 1.5 on the on the UMP. And like you you guys might be saying, like, well, why wouldn't you just play why wouldn't you just play Castle before the new update? Well, it's because like also I've got a C4, uh, you're a three speed, you get to run around, you're really fast, it's fun. But uh, Castle, you're more like team oriented, support oriented, but like Pulse, I get to run around and frag out. So it's fun. It's fun to mess around with that. We're downstairs now, so I could potentially get some little C4 kills up here. We'll see what happens. See where they're pushing from. I might just end up roaming, to be honest. Again, please don't be this alibi, bro. I The one thing I hate, like my biggest pet peeve when people like recognize me in game, is they just like follow me around or like they shoot at me or like stuff like that. Like, please don't. Like, this guy's just following me everywhere I go. Please don't do that. Look at this guy, bro. He's probably gonna team kill me soon. They normally do after a little bit. Once I like don't give them attention, they end up team killing me. Oh my god. Go down there, bro. How many we got out here? Bro, what is this audio? I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm gonna head back down to site. Oh, I just shot an L of mine. I thought it was the new gadget. Oh, I just shot another team gadget. Oh my god, I'm on a roll, guys. I am throwing right now. Oh my gosh. This one's right here. Oh, the grenade! Whoa! Oh. I'm whipping. Oh. oh no! I hit him once. I hit him once. I hit him in the neck. He's 50 HP. Oh my god. Can you guys imagine if I hit that? <laughs> that would have been so good. Wait, is he in sight? No, he's not. There's an L of mine. We're good. We're good. There's no way this guy clutches again. Well, it's not the same person. Hey, let's go. Oh, so I'm reading the patch notes right now, and an interesting thing is that Mute's MP5K has actually lost the 1.5, which is uh, which is interesting. I'm not really sure why they did that, because most people just run the shotgun anyways, but okay. Interesting uh, balancing change, especially when they nerfed Mute recently, and he's like pretty much not that effective against Hard Breach anymore. So that's an interesting protected. choice in my opinion, but we've also got the Frost 1.5 that I could try. Remember, they actually added the Frost 1.5 at one point, but they ended up removing it eventually. So I guess it's back. They learned a lesson on that. Uh, see, this time I get the Goyo Trap instantly, but before I couldn't get it at all. Also, I'm not sure if it's actually true, but I think this thing is like new. I don't know what that thing is. Never seen it before. For a late spawn peek. Easy. That late spawn peek on that window works like 80% of the time. Oh my god. Oh no, Cali. God, I hate Cali so much. Oh, you guys, you you guys already know. If you watch my streams, you know how much I hate Cali, bro. People get one shot off on you and you're done. I mean, I, I understand it like it takes skill to hit that shot, but oh my god, it infuriates me. <laughs> to be fair, I did over peek on that window, but I thought I could get the headshot. I just couldn't. Somebody kill the Cali though, please. I'm begging. Oh no. My numbers are dwindling. There we go, Teflon. Oh, this this Grim, I have the shotgun. If Grim has the shotgun here, Teflon is done for. Oh, Teflon, 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 yo. Oh my God. 
Guys, there's no way people are this bad at games, right? I'm sorry, bro. There's just no way. Like, what is going on? Gordon, where you at, bro? Oh, no. Grim just got Teflon. Right, Warden's on the flank of a lifetime right now. Check this flank out. The head holes are on the wrong side on the sight wall, too. Grim just walked in. That was not doing anything about it. Oh, my God. Yo, this Grim is like... I don't know. Like, every time he gets in a gunfight with someone, they just whiff with him. It's actually crazy to me. The la last player is the Cali. Wow. Callie hopped in the piano window and then ran through the double door to kill this guy. And Ella didn't do anything about it. You see that piano window? He hopped in there and then ran through the double door. And Ella just didn't do anything about it. All right. I stole Grim. Let's see. I don't know what I want to do with him, though. I, I, I really hate that we keep getting Chalet because I feel like there's not much I can do with this gadget. I really want to use Grim. I think he's really cool. I want to run around with the SG. But I feel like it's so hard on this map. I don't know. Maybe you guys have some ideas for some strats I could pull off that you could put in the comments. But I feel like there's there's like a limited amount of things that I could realistically do with his gadget and the shotgun on this map. Teflon said he's just trying people he doesn't have. Like he's just playing operators he doesn't own. It's actually a, a good way to test new operators. If you guys like, if you guys have Siege on PC and you don't have all the operators unlocked and you're not sure which ones to get. Like a lot of people ask me like what operator should I get? This one or this one? Like, the best thing you can do is download the TTS. It's free. Load it up and try out the operators. And then just figure out which one you like. All right, we could do our strat. We're going to try to do our strat this round. I think it could work. This time, we're not against, like, the, the champ stack that's spawn peeking and peeking every window. Running out of the K9 window. So, hopefully, it works. So, I just have to make sure my teammates don't shoot the door down. Or, actually, I have the shotgun. So, I'm going to have to do this with a pistol. We're still trying it, though. I don't care. All right, here we are. See if I can pull something off with this. I don't know if I can. I, I have the shotgun, so I'm a little bit wary. Come on, a zombie, drop down. Really not gonna drop down? Oh, oh. Damn, I missed my opportunity. All right, well there goes that. Time to leave. Go push basement or something. Ace is pushing basement with a bomb instead of going to get breach. All right, I've seen it all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Could be our opportunity, guys. Wait. Oh, he dropped hatch, but he didn't make any noise. No, this guy dropped the hatch. And he dropped off. Okay, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy just dropped from the hatch onto the kitchen table. It made no noise. He dropped off the table onto the floor, and that made no noise. That is really unfortunate. I don't know. Maybe in the recording, you guys could hear it, but I could not hear that whatsoever. One is down. He just got rezzed. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. Ace needed to push in on this. Oh, here's the new uh, 1.5 on Ace. I believe this is new. Yeah, I'm reading the patch notes. The AK-12 got the 1.5. Um, let me see. That's on... That was on Fuse. I want to see if it's also on Ace. Maybe this has been a thing. Okay, no. So Ace lost the uh, the 2.0 and gained the 1.5. So this is new. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Oh my God, Ace. Yo, this guy's right next to you. All right. Oh my God. Dude, everyone is so out of it. All right, Ace can just open the wall this entire time, by the way. And there's someone actually playing on it and he just hasn't opened the wall. Like we have a Cali. The wall's been fine to open. There we go. Nine seconds left, the wall's open. Oh, Cali, 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 Cali. Oh my God, he got lost. He got lost in the 12X zoom or the 6X zoom, whatever it was. All right, this round, we're gonna go with the 552 Commando. I feel like we played with the shotgun enough. Until we get a better map for it, I think we're gonna have to run the 552. And one of the unfortunate things I'm noticing with the strat where you like shotgun underneath and then you, sh you shove the uh, gadget in through the roof and it like disperse in the room. Like I was trying to do that last round in bathroom. And the problem is the second they see that that's what I'm doing, they just run away. And that's like, we're in, we're on the TTS. So like these players probably aren't very high ranked. So especially like if you're against high ranking players, it's probably not going to work all that often. But we saw like in the last video I made on this, like it worked really well. Like some instances where like if an operator is like definitely stuck in that room, you can use that to like your advantage. But just trying to do it when you have like no control 
over where someone is positioned, it's kind of rough, you know? The red ping here. Was someone going for a spawn peek? Oh, Mr. Orcs. Potential spawn peek. I've got the 552, so I can actually, like, compete with it now. Oh, he's actually peeking the right of this window up here. I've only got the hollow, so I don't want to peek that. Gordon does have the 1.5. A little bit scary. Yeah, I figured someone's going to be peeking this. I don't know why that's opened. Ash is going in. All right, I'm leaving it. I'm going to try to run up through uh, the balcony and kill him. Door is closed. We're good. The window's open. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, where is the site? Oh, boy. Found the site, guys. Uh -oh. This is scary. I'm getting pinched from so many ways. Hear a pulse. Got close. My alibi was close. All right, where's my teammate? Yo, where are you at? <laughs> Why is he down there? I need help. Like, I desperately need help. Oh, I hit him once. Dude, Callie, why are you down here? <laughs> I'm like fighting the whole team upstairs and Callie is, is pushing garage as if the site's down here. The site is like two, two stories above where he's pushing. Oh my God. I'll give you guys a great tip. If you guys, if you guys are new, like this Callie's pr like obviously probably pretty new at the game or something. If you guys are looking to improve and you're like not sure what you what you should be doing, especially on attack, if you're not sure what you should be doing, pay attention to where your team is. And if you see your team, go to your team. Play like follow the leader or something. Don't do what the Cali did, where you're just kind of off in your own world. The orcs gonna come flying out right now. Okay. Five seconds. Where's the orcs? Above you, above you. Wow. I hate that this type of playstyle is rewarded. I really do. I'm a little bit sad that Grim doesn't have the 1.5 on the 552 commando because on IQ, the 1.5 is a ton of fun to play. I'm actually going to play one of the reflexes. I'm going to go to reflex A. You guys probably don't know this, but uh, back in the day when I used to play comp, I was like a huge IQ main and I played nothing but the 552 commando with the reflex A. And I was so nasty with it back then. It was like my favorite thing in the world. So we're 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 going we're throwing all the way back to like 2017 on this one. Beautiful. All right, sounds like we've got some pesky spawn peekers again. All good. Not sure what this hole is, but it's a little bit ominous. I can't see anything. I believe the site is downstairs. Oh my God! There was a goyo there. Oof! That actually got me. That's not a bad idea. Placing a goyo on that door. I had no clue. All right, so the site is definitely down here. Question is, what am I hearing? Here's someone like right here. Is he hiding behind this? No. What is this audio? I see someone there on the right. Why did we smoke this? Oh God. Gentlemen, never, never smoke the angle that you're trying to push. Like never smoke right on it. Cause then you can't push. Like this just wasted 15 seconds of our time. That might as well have been like a smoke grenade from like the defense. Oh, this guy's one HP. Oh no, that's so unlucky. Oh my God, tough one. We have no hard breach. Well, we do, but he's like in the middle of nowhere. Like this ace is never like playing with the team. This is what I was talking about last last round. Like if you're not sure what to do, like play with the team. Pushing into this trench would have been so much easier if ace would have opened up the, the two walls here. Cause these, these defenders wouldn't have been able to play so close on the door. Oh yes, let's go. Lock it out, gentlemen. Lock it out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Left. Left, Callie. Oh, phase. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Decisive in chat. GG's. All right. Well, that will probably end today's video. If you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on so that you do not miss any of my daily uploads. Consider checking out the sponsors of the links down below in the description. Use code SHOCK to get those discounts. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.